unfortunately, we still got a couple of months or so to go in this hurricane season. So, yeah, this this season's been very hectic, just as it was as it was predicted to be. And you know, hopefully, this will be our last one this year because this one has done quite a bit of damage. Tonight, 27 million people from the Gulf Coast to Virginia are under flood or flash flood warnings, but Sally is lo losing steam and is now a tropical storm. The storm is moving about five miles per hour, which could dump up to an additional 35 inches of rain in some areas. Louisiana dodging the bulk of the storm are Chris Welty in New Orleans to kick off our team coverage. Chris. Here in New Orleans, conditions have really improved since Hurricane Sally pushed away from the state and much can be said about much of southeast Louisiana. A lot of people here breathing a sigh of relief, but for those in Alabama and Florida, they're really still feeling the effects of the storm. I spoke with Lafayette resident Tommy Hayes. He's vacationing with his family in Navarre Beach, Florida. He says he never expected the storm's track to shift that much to the east. He says he's been through storms before, but he's never ridden out a storm this close to the Gulf of Mexico. He says he wasn't necessarily as worried about hurricane force winds. He was more so worried about tornadoes. Hayes says throughout the day power has been trickling on and off, but they've been with that power now for several hours. And right now their only option is to continue riding out the storm. It was pounding on the building all night long. We didn't get a lot of sleep. You know, in hindsight, maybe we should have gotten out of here. And back here in New Orleans, once again, conditions have improved along the lakefront. Lake Pontchartrain is still a bit choppy, but those waves are no longer flooding the street. The water has receded. A lot of people, they're out here just enjoying the weather and the breeze while it lasts. In New Orleans, Chris Waltz, KETC TV3.